Well, I would say, um, speaking for lung cancer, there are really two major challenges. Uh, the biggest challenge is that only about one to two percent of people diagnosed with lung cancer really participate in clinical research. And the only way we can make advances in lung cancer is through clinical research because if we don't do clinical research we will remain where we are right now. Every new treatment that is developed and every progress that's made comes through clinical research. So in one way or another we need to uh, have better education for the population, for patients, for physicians even, um, to encourage that patients really do get enrolled on clinical trials. I think that's the single biggest obstacle. And the second obstacle is that probably lung cancer sort of carries this stigma with it, uh, that um, uh, the person diagnosed with lung cancer brought it on themselves, and so the uh, amount of advocacy for lung cancer is extremely low. Um, if you compare this with breast cancer, where there is a lot of advocacy, and every time you walk into your grocery store or in your corner gas station store, uh, you see a pink ribbon campaign, and everybody knows the pink ribbon campaign has something to do with breast cancer. And most people probably don't even know there is a ribbon for lung cancer, and yes, there is one, and it happens to be clear because lung cancer is sort of the invisible cancer. And I think uh, people also don't know that, in fact, in this country, uh, more women every year die from lung cancer than from breast cancer. So I think what we really need is uh, much more awareness and outspokenness about the disease.